Good eye, guys. My name is Miles. And my name is Fez. And this is The Commodity. And today we're reacting to 11 things not to do in Australia. Must see before you go. Good job. This video Don't was clap. requested to us by Traven. Traven, thank you so much for the suggestion. We truly appreciate it. And I don't know if I've seen Traven's name before. I definitely have not. But if we have, uh, thank you for these suggestions. We, we Again, we do truly appreciate it. Guys, if you want a shout out, like Traven just got, and you want to watch a video that you suggest, then click the link in our Discord. <laughs> I don't never know how to word that. <laughs> if you want to see us react to a video that you want to see us react to, in the description, there's a link to our Discord. Click on that link. It'll take you to said Discord. And you I can feel like the video links. I there. feel like you know how to say it in your head, but there's just no way to iterate to it. It just say it. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, so yeah, guys, I want to know what not to do in Australia. Australia, in Oz. Yeah. So uh, guys, before we hop into this video, if you would go ahead and give us a thumbs up, we would truly appreciate it. It helps us get these videos out to more people, and that is one reason why we do this. Also, if you would, go also, ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell notification icon. That way you guys can stay informed on our future videos. Uh, we do plan on our travels starting in a couple of months. We will be hitting multiple countries. I don't know in what time frame, but I do know our first trip is planned in a couple of months. So, to guys, Malaysia. if you want to go along with us on that trip, click the subscribe button and we're trying to hit a hundred thousand before we hit the road yes uh also if you want to help support i don't know the channel, why i got so like even, no, 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 no. if you guys want us so if you guys want to help support the channel even more you can click the join button down below so let's hop in and check this out it's leviosa not leviosa where did that come from when i we said something and i was like thinking and i was like oh no because you know the iphone trick now no have you not seen the iPhone trick? Whatever the word is that he used to do with the wand uh -huh. to turn the light on, you can do that to your iPhone. Uh, it was, uh, uh, we'll worry about it after the video. Australia is many things. It's a continent that makes up the sixth largest country in the world and is home to some of the most dangerous creatures on the planet. And no, I'm not just talking about Australians. <laughs> with a little over eight and a half million people visiting each year, tourism is a huge part of Australia's economy. That Did you make the CD skip? There are skip? a number of things <laughs> right. to look out for when you're there. So let's get right into it. So gorgeous. Number one, don't stray from the path. With over 66 different venomous species, which is the third largest concentration in the world, by the way, it's important to know where you are at all times. Now, this is especially Ugh. true if you plan I don't have an issue with uh, uh, ants, but that freaks me out. Why? Because they were kind of translucent? I, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> it's just like, I don't know. I don't want to see them like that. I they're definitely the ants, are, ants are cool. I mean, there's something cool to the them. The only ants that I find like, like I find uh, off putting are what, what we call cow ants. The big furry ones? Yeah. Yeah. I hate those. That reminds me of spiders. Yeah. Because, because they're and furry. they're like weird colors. They're like they're red and yellow. They're super orange and yellow. Yeah. And yeah. With things like the common brown snake, box jellyfish, and crocodiles, there's no shortage of dangerous animals here. So it's important that you stay on the path when you're exploring. And that goes for warning signs as well. <gasps> because while it may seem funny to some people from different countries, which is a dumb bird, very real and should be taken seriously. Marine stingers. Oh, so cute. Okay. That's uh, uh, that a wallaby. wallaby? Yeah. Number two, don't I'm, underestimate the cost. Australia is known for having one of the highest living costs in the world, and traveling there is no different. Now, of course, this is all subjective depending on where you go and where you're from, but it still might surprise you to hear that a beer costs around nine Australian dollars. Wow. And a wow. meal at a mid-range restaurant costs around 40. Now, all in all, if you're really trying to save money, you can Whoa. get it down to around 100 Australian dollars per day. And I'll just throw that number out Whoa. there as an average. Down to around 100. I just want to make sure I heard all of that right. Thanks. You're welcome. All right. 
so we'll wait. that a beer costs around nine Australian dollars and a meal at a mid-range restaurant costs around 40. Now all That's in all, insane. if you're really trying to save money, you can get it down to around a hundred Australian dollars per $100 day. And I'll just day. throw that number out there as an average. But between transportation, Let us know if that's food, true. and lodging, I think he's talking about traveling. Expensive. Oh. So it's important that you price out your trip accordingly. Yeah. Because yeah, because if you're on a trip, you're talking about going out to the restaurants three meals a day. Then you're talking about unless you know you got the uh, breakfast at well, your is hotel. Well, he including hotel and all that too, because that's not bad. <laughs> if he's including that, hotel stay, that's that's good actually. That's true. That's very true because that would be probably like forty feet. Like I don't know of a hotel that anywhere cheap, near a cheap us. hotel here is like a hundred twenty. Well, I'm I, like the one uh, by my apartment. You can get. For like eighty bucks a night or something. Yeah, you might but it's a shot. Yeah. Yeah. No. <laughs> I don't live in a bad part of town. I used to live with you. I know. <laughs> Number three. And this is a short one. Don't say shrimp on the Barbie. And this phrase was popular. <laughs> I just want to do that so bad. Ad. Could you put a shrimp on the Barbie? Later in Crocodile Dundee. And it was sponsored by the Australian Tourism Commission to try to bring in international travelers. But this is absolutely not what an Australian would say. If they would even use that phrase at all, they would say prawn, not shrimp. So don't make it more annoying than it already is. <laughs> we, I, whenever we travel, we have to do that on video. Yeah. Just go up to random people and be like, can you put another shrimp on the Barbie? <laughs> See how many people times we just can like get, punched. get punched in the face. <laughs> Number four, drinking in Australia. Now for this one, I'm mainly talking about major cities, specifically Sydney. So don't quote me on the rest of the country. But in Sydney, you can't get a beer after 1.30 in the morning because they have something called a lockout law, which means That's no how it one's is allowed here. in or out of bars. Two o'clock in the U.S. in time. Texas. And their last call is at three in the morning. And of course, don't drink and try and drive because they have one of the lowest blood alcohol content levels, 0.05, uh, before you can be arrested. Ours is what, 0.08? Eight, eight, yeah. Don't order Foster's beer. That's not an Australian thing. That's an American thing. Instead, try and order I'm pretty sure it's made in Australia, though. My Aussie friends will know why I'm laughing. Foster's oh, Australia. I guess they'll let us know. In the yeah, comments. let us know in the comments. Number five. Mm -hmm. don't That's the one that we've learned about, size. yeah. Australia is a country with about 25 million people. And because it's a continent, it's made up of almost 7.6 million square kilometers. And despite the fact that the majority of its population is clustered around the coast, it seems like it's in so urban far areas, from everything. it still means yeah. that as a tourist, it's going to take a long time to get from place to place. So it's important to take a look at exactly how long it's going to take you to complete your itinerary. We get that. We live in the U.S. Number six don't always tip. Now, unlike some countries, tipping isn't required in Australia. And that's mainly because their minimum wage is the highest in the world at around $18.93 an hour. Now, in places like the U.S., this wages keeps on changing. require tips to earn a living wage. So their minimum wage is the highest, but He's also said their cost of living is one of the highest. Yeah, of course. So it still averages That's very out, typical. So yeah. should you not tip? Why wouldn't you tip just because their minimum wage is higher? They still have to pay more. Well, bills. because they're still making a, a real wage, whereas here in the States, they're making like $2.13 or two whatever they're... Okay, I see. So like our our servers at our restaurants make two thirty. They don't even hour. make minimum wage. Right. Because they're... they're and in a lot of out. places, like a lot of restaurants, like I got friends that work in high scale restaurants and they make like a hundred grand a year. Right. Yeah. But if you're working at like IHOP or something small, you're making fifty dollars a day if you're lucky. Right. Because I've actually been a waiter at one. Because the national minimum wage is lucky seven dollars and twenty five cents an hour. Now, if you have great service, for sure you should tip the person. All I'm saying is you won't be scorned like in the US if you don't. Number seven, don't rely on public transport. Now, because Australia is so big and so spread out, public transport is difficult to find outside major cities. You know, it's not typical. Like, we're we used take to that. A train to a small town, hop off, and then hop onto another train to another small town. Australia is just too big for that to be feasible. So you're better off finding other ways to get around. 
The closest transit station here from here is like 30 minutes away, right? Number eight. Like don't mass talk transit? About no, there's one in Rally. Now forgive me oh. if I have to generalize a bit in order to get the point across. But for the most part, many Australians dislike the way that the government handles immigration. Whether they're anti-immigration or whether they're disgusted by the way the government handles refugees. Of course, there's all the people in between. But the bottom line is that immigration is a big deal in Australia, and it's easier to avoid the topic. Well, then why'd you bring it up? I was hoping you would get into it. <laughs> yeah. Number nine, don't take anything personally. Now, Australians always... He punched me in the face. Around, it's cool. Don't take it personally. One of the ways that they do that. But don't make the mistake of thinking they mean anything by it. There's a funny saying where you know that an Australian doesn't like you if they don't insult you. Because it means that they actually think there's something wrong with you and that it'll offend you. We've learned that just by reacting to Australian videos. Yeah, super laid back, super chill, super cool. And talk a lot of it crap. Talk so much <laughs> shit to be up front. Yeah, but it's awesome. Yeah, we it's love great. It. Go figure. It's my so personality. Grain of salt. Because a lot of it's just sarcasm. 100%. He works Number out. Number 10. Don't be afraid to say hello. Australians have a pretty well-deserved reputation for being laid back. Huh? And like Go I was ahead. talking about before with the kidding around, they're good at taking things in stride, which makes it easy as a tourist to Another make thing friends. we've learned. And talking to people is a must. Look at them booties. Was that too much? <laughs> <laughs> Last but not least, number 11. Make sure you enjoy Australia. Australia is uh -oh. such a cool place with so many fun and That's what I want to do when I go. And there's so much to do there. It's important Me to keep too. in mind that these are all general guidelines and tips that I find out while I was there. And I'm sure you'll have a fantastic time while you're there. Matching his face to his voice makes me feel like I'd be his friend. Honestly, yeah, me too. <laughs> like, look at him. He I seems wanna, cool. I want to be your friend. This was, this was much more positive than yesterday's video. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I like this guy. I do too. Cal McKinley. Guys, if you haven't subscribed to Cal McKinley, go ahead and do that now. Let's see. He posts... A year ago? Not often anymore. Does uh, he yeah, even... He hasn't posted in a year. So, wow, but he looks crazy. like he's got some good videos. So, you guys what should happened? still go check him out. Maybe he just doesn't anymore because he wasn't getting views or something. I don't know. He's got tons. Well, some of them don't, but... Yeah, he's got a great amount of views for the amount of videos he put out. Guys, go subscribe to his channel if you liked his content. Maybe we um, can get him back into filming again. Yeah, that would be cool. And if you liked our content, you know, touch that subscribe button with that clicky mouse. Our video, or thumb, you know what I'm saying? Or whatever you touch with. Yeah, you might have a nub. It's okay. Yeah. Oh, I had the cutest kid come into the dealership the other day, mm -hmm. and he had like you know, like it was a, a like you could see it was his fist, and he had like little, like his fingers didn't develop or something during right. the in the womb. Mm -hmm. But he was the sweetest little kid ever, and he was like picking up the football and throwing it. He's playing sports, and I was like, "There's a famous baseball player that uh, what's his name, Jim Abbott, I think, where he was a famous, he was a legit pitcher." With one hand, he would put the he would throw the ball, put his hand in the glove, and catch. That's talent. Yeah, that's talent. And then he, uh, he would put it back in his arm, grab the ball, throw it, and then put his hand back in it. Like he was a really talented guy. Yeah. Or no, no, he put the glove on his nub, on the thing, and then he would throw, put his hand in there, and he was good to go. Hmm. So. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. It helps us out a ton. If you want to see our future videos or see us travel, we're still trying to hit 100,000 subscribers before we hit the road. Uh, hit the subscribe button and the bell notification. And if you want to support us directly, hit that join button. And with that being said, my name is Miles. My name is Fizz. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace. Out. Mates. Tees. Ees. Bees. Trees. Bees. Cows. A mooses. <laughs> monkeys. Turkeys and chickens, Boom. octopus, octopi, Boom. lots of pies in the house. I like them when they eat other little mouse. All right, turkeys gonna... and gobblers. We've already got and an outro, so we're gonna and... have to add this outro to that outro. Good eye, guys. My name is Miles. My name's Face. <laughs> I don't know why it came out like that. <laughs> My name's Face. My name's Face. <laughs>
I just changed my name altogether. 